What's up, YouTube? Back again. Uh, just got out of work, and I'm gonna show you my Hulkbuster that I told you guys from earlier. I'm about to unbox it in front of you guys. This is my first time unboxing it, so please uh, enjoy and bear with me as this is gonna be a rough cut. I'm not really gonna edit this video. Um, please, uh, you know, like, comment, uh, anything you wanna see. Uh, I know some people already got it a month ago, but this is the second wave from Sideshow Collectibles. And I'm super excited. Uh, as you guys know, what is it, the 28th today? Uh, the Avengers Infinity War trailer came out as well. I got my whole buster today. So, this is a freaking good day. And this has been uh, like a good two, two and a half years in the making. Um, I pre ordered this baby about like, two and a half years ago with Sideshow. And it's finally shipped. And the funny thing is. You see the Infinity War trailer today, and there's another Hulk Buster in there, and that thing looks a little more a little more smooth. This one looks like a like a prototype Hulk Buster. The other one's more smooth, so I might have to pre-order that one as well. But I'm gonna see how this one goes. So thanks for staying in, and I hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So here we go. As you can see, it's a pretty big freaking box. Here's my arm size in comparison. I mean, I'm not a tall guy either. I'm like 5'8". So, but you can kind of see. Another thing to look at is, this is compare a Mark 46 box, the die cast. The Hulk Buster is still pretty um, big compared to this. I mean, you you put this standing up and the it's almost the same size as the box laying down. So it's a pretty freaking big box as you can see. Here's another look. Really big, a little over two feet long. Anyways, let's get this opened up real quick. I got this from Sideshow. So it comes in this brown shipper. Actually, I don't even think it matters that it's from Sideshow. I think this shipper, you get it anyways. Here we go, opening this baby up. As you can see, it's my first time. So I got this cardboard. And right away, it's a beautiful box. It follows the theme. The cover arts are the same. Look at that beast. You got the Hulk Buster right there. <clears throat> Anyways, continuing this baby out. I'm glad you guys are here with me to unbox this. It's freaking amazing. Honestly, I'm running out of freaking room here. I'm gonna just pass the wrap. Go on, go ahead and take this off. Brand new for me too, guys. Bear with me. So excited. Jesus, this box is freaking huge. Alright, looks like it's a slip on. Slip this off real fast. inside another styrofoam box as you can see try to zoom in there it is Iron Man Hope Buster try to get into that here are the creators of the Hope Buster that's my bad terrible angle Try to get that. Awesome. Let me zoom back in. So here we are. We're off the tape. Let's 
so as I was unboxing, I noticed that this comes off. Pulling it out. And here's the Iron Man instruction manual. I'm pretty sure some accessories for the Mark 40. What is it? This is the Mark 44. Here's an Iron Man for you. More than likely, I'm not gonna take it out just because I have a Mark 44, I mean, what is it, 43 already. And I know this is, you can go put it inside the Hulk Buster, which I'll, I'll show in another video, this is just an unboxing. But here you can see, I believe those are the gauntlets on the left and the right. And there are more pieces to the Hulk Buster, but I'm not gonna go too in depth. Anyways, that's an awesome box. And we'll just place that right back in here. Close this up. I'm gonna be doing another video, maybe this on over the weekend. So please subscribe and stay tuned for that. And this is just my unboxing. Just in the styrofoam up. Holy shit. Check out that guys. And wraps and everything. Wow. <clears throat> Beautiful. I don't even know where to grab it from. Give me a second. Alright guys, sorry, had to get it out the box real quick kind of a hassle but yeah this thing is freaking huge here's my hand um here's his hand look at that shake this guy's hand um i know the sideshow collectibles is statues are one quarter size and this is about the size of uh their statues but since I just collect the one six models from Hot Toys, this is really big. So really, really big. <clears throat> I have no idea where I'm gonna put him. But you can see, there's a lot of components to this thing. And I don't wanna play with it right now, as I'm saying, I just I wanted to unbox it because I was excited. Look at his feet, yo. Like, really? Look at that. It's bigger than my hand. Um, it didn't come with much afterwards. It came with this little shield, which I don't really don't know where it goes to. It. I haven't read the instructions yet. And it comes with the shield crap load of batteries here so i'm gonna have to figure this out as well more than likely over the weekend as i don't have time but as you can see he's a big fella this is pretty cool just notice it real quick this pops up you have your iron man figure in here but yeah this guy is freaking massive there's a side view. There's a back view. And I think this is a combination of uh, like die cast and plastic. But it looks freaking awesome, yo. Here's the little booster, jetpack, whatever. Freaking hamstrings. Shit, look, this came out, I don't even know where this goes to now. Ha! Uh, uh, thing is big and has a good freaking weight to it. I'm trying to stand it up for you. It's falling. Here's a size comparison with the Hulk from Age of Ultron as well. Keep in mind, this is a torso that is really 
Had it straight up. It's not the one where you can maneuver and adjust. This one's just um, stiff. It doesn't move. But this is the size comparison. <coughs> Pretty amazing. If you think about it, I mean, just look at the difference in feet. That's really crazy. Yeah. Freak. Um. Awesome. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, sorry, it was just a quick rush. You know, I was excited to open it and I wanted to, um, to share my thoughts and opinions with you guys regarding the whole Buster real quick. Um, I'm going to give a nice full detailed review once I play with it and put on the, the batteries to turn on the lights for you guys. Probably over this weekend, so please check that out. Hopefully Saturday or Sunday at the latest. But yeah, this video is freaking awesome, you know. Uh, it took about two and a half years of delay and delay, and it's cool to finally freaking get it. Um, uh, I don't know what the hell am I put it right now, honestly. So honestly, it's probably gonna go just on the ground somewhere because I have no space, as you can see. On the back, I have too many figures right now, and that fool ain't gonna fit up there, and I'm not putting him up there, risking him falling and just breaking. So I'm gonna find a badass stand on probably Ikea. But thanks for freaking bearing with me. I hope you enjoyed and please stick around to see my next uh, review on the hot toy. You know, like, subscribe, comment, uh, and thank you.